If there's a reoccurring theme from the 2021 Economic Outlook Conference, it's the vast economic uncertainty from the pandemic. Wells Fargo economist Charles Doherty emphasized its reduced economic growth at a historic rate. A lot of what's happened over the past year or so has been directly tied to the pandemic, the coronavirus. We saw the sharpest reduction in economic growth that you know maybe we've ever seen aside from you know, maybe, uh, you know, back to World War II. Doherty says that while some of the over 22 million jobs lost have been regained, the recovery rate has slowed down. We've only recovered about 50% of the jobs, a little bit more than 50%, but, you know, essentially we've, we've lost 22 million and we've recovered about 12 million. So we're still very much in the hole here. Uh, furthermore, we haven't, and over the past few months, we've sort of slowed down in terms of job growth. In December of 2020, the national unemployment rate rose to 6.7 percent, up more than 3 percent from the previous year. At 8.2 percent, the state of New Mexico far exceeded the national average, ranking 46th in the nation. Jim Peach, a professor emeritus of economics at New Mexico State University, highlighted the stark economic changes caused by the pandemic in New Mexico. We were finally above the level of the Great Recession. Um, and then between February and April, we dropped 105,000 jobs in the state. Uh, and that that's just an awful lot. We gained some of that back for 795,000 as of December. Peach says the hardest hit sectors in New Mexico include both mining and the leisure and hospitality industries. Leisure and hospitality lost 32,000 jobs uh, between January and December of last year. And uh, the other sector that I'd like you to take a look at is uh, mining, which includes oil and gas. And that's minus seven and a half thousand jobs out of about 25,000 jobs. Those two sectors are really important in the state. Uh, leisure and hospitality uh, counted for almost 100,000 jobs before this started. But there's a bright spot in the economic outlook, consumer spending. Wells Fargo economist Charles Doherty says increased national personal consumption of items like exercise equipment and electronics have helped to stabilize the economy. You see a big increase in personal consumption expenditures, which is you know, just economics parlance for consumer spending. Uh, we see durable goods, that's the, that's the Peloton bike, basketball hoop, the laptop computer, that's actually risen not only to back to where it started, but 10% above that since last February. So we've seen this big surge in personal or durable goods spending. And that's a big reason why the overall economy has fared you know, reasonably well over the past few months. Doherty predicts the national economy will regain its pre-pandemic strength by the third quarter of 2021. We actually think the economy grows uh, just a shade above 5% this year and a shade above 5% next year. So that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't sound like much, but if you think about what I was saying at this time last year, I was talking about 2% growth and how great 2% growth was. So clearly we're digging ourselves out of a hole. For KRWG Public Media, I'm Madison Staten.